I stepped out onto the streets today earlier than I did yesterday. Yesterday, I explored Prague on the right side of the river. Today, I am aiming to check out the left side, including Prague Castle. When I look at views this amazing, it's almost surreal, making me question if it's all just a dream like living in the Truman Show. It's these times when I sit down to edit the footage and create a video that I'm like... As you walk across the Charles Bridge, checking out its impressive array of about 30 statues, you will reach Lesser Town. Prague Castle is up on a hill, so I thought it would be best to start by exploring Kampa Island. It felt like I might miss out on it if I headed to the Prague Castle first. Once you reach the end of Charles Bridge, just take a little detour down the side road. And after a short walk, you will reach Kampa Island. Next up, I didn't have super high hopes, but I thought why not go and have a look at John Lennon's world. Now, I'm making my way up to Prague Castle. I stood at the foot of the 287 steps that would take me up to the Prago Castle. I wouldn't call it a breeze ascending those stairs, but the view from the top made every step worthwhile. So I finally got to Prague Castle, and finding the entrance was a bit of a challenge at first. But it turns out it was right here on the left side. Instead of entering the castle, I chose to wander around its exterior, gazing at it from the outside. I really 
somehow I ended up at a different exit from the one I came in through. I heard that there is a Starbucks near this exit that was famous for a stunning view, but I chose to pass on it. Because I was curious about this place. From what I saw from the drone footage I shot earlier, it resembles the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Yep, I decided to walk my way up, but just so you know, there's a tram that can take you up here too. What's the deal with all the Savoy spots in Prague? You've got Hotel Savoy, Cafe Savoy, I decided to grab some lunch at this Korean restaurant I had searched for in advance. They have a happy hour special. Traveling is like a break from all those daily worries about stuff that may never even happen. Instead, you're left pondering simple things like what's on the menu for today and where you venture off to tomorrow. And honestly, I kind of love it. <laughs> 